Everybody. <laughs> man. You know, there's place in the kingdom for every man. And inside of every man is a unique gift that God has given you to help participate in the overall health and well-being of the body of Christ. This is why the Bible says that God hates one who sowed discord among the brethren. Because when the body of Christ are, is unified together as one, that we can see the fullness of Christ in full operation, working through and manifesting through the, his members, which is you. You know, sometimes we, we stand in positions where we're looking to others outside of the grace for an answer concerning the kingdom's operation. But what we have to begin to consider doing is looking inside one another so that we can unlock the true treasures that is found in the gift that's inside of your brother and your sister. That's why jealousy is not a good thing. It's more important to strengthen one another and abandon one another so that we can understand the operation of our oneness in Christ. Everything that's provided that's good inside of a man is provided by Christ himself. And one man does not is not enough room in one man to carry the fullness of Christ in and of itself. So then God would have to create an entire multitude of family to begin his existence of himself inside of each one that's applied or, or, or present in that multitude. In this partnership and fellowship in the mystery of Christ, there's enough room for every single person. So seek inside yourself to unlock your gift. Look inside yourself and partner with Christ to understand the manifestation of the gift that he's placed in you. And as Paul told Timothy, begin to stir that gift. And as you begin to stir that gift, what you will discover and uncover is Christ is living, really living big on the inside of you. And that there's an entire kingdom operation that's in and of itself something that no one else could have given you but God. And when you take that and begin to yoke it up with others who may still be a part of the body, definitely, but in a different operation, then now we've got two pieces functioning together. You can really see when I talk like this why Satan would not want the body of Christ working together as one unit. However, Jesus talked about a time of the end times in those end times, he mentioned, forsake ye not, under the inspiration, Paul wrote it, but under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost, Paul wrote, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. There's a reason for that. Because the body in and of itself, without the members functioning, working together, cannot produce the manifestation of the kingdom in maximum capacity. However, when we partner together and come together in unification, and begin to lay down those weapons of discord and separation and division, opinions and views that are contrary to the word of God. Whatever your views are, it doesn't matter. Lay it down and allow Christ and the peace of God and pursue peace with all men and begin to work to unify the body. We'll see the fullness of the operation of the kingdom. Notice that they didn't receive on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit coming into the upper room until they were all in one place, and guess what? On one accord. It was with, at that point that the Holy Spirit had the capacity and the ability, or Christ in them had the capacity or ability to begin to stretch and reach multitudes and multitudes of other, other ethnic groups. Because notice they all came out of the upper room after praying in the Holy Ghost, after all being on one accord, they spilled out into the streets and noticed when they walked into the streets, it was men who spoke Arabic, Italian, Russian, okay? And all these uh, African, and they spoke all these different languages. However, because the men up in the upper room was on one accord and functioned as one unit, it began to speak, they began to speak their language and the Holy Ghost could have his way. He spoke the language of Russia, Japanese, Chinese, or whatever the language was that were present there and they understood them in their own language. Why? Because of the body coming together and forsaking not to assemble itself together. You have a gift inside of you, tap into it. 
and share it with others as you grow in Christ and we bring this kingdom on earth exactly the way that it is in heaven. This is the will of God. God bless you.